Good afternoon. So glad you have joined us today for DI Lives, growing your business with 3D printed parts. How Vallejo improved efficiencies and quality. We invite you to stick around after today's presentation for a live Q&A. We will get started momentarily. We are just waiting a couple of minutes for others to join us. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Without further ado, I'll hand things over to Matt Hitch at Vallejo. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Lucas Yastrud. I go by Luke J, much easier to pronounce. Um, I'm the business development manager for paid parts here at CATI. I'm located in our Pleasant Ridge, uh, Michigan office and have worked with Valio for approximately seven years. You know, their story has taken them on quite a journey. Uh, so let's get started. You know, Valio is a global automotive supplier. Um, they're headquartered in France. Um, they produce everything from touch screens and clutches to transmissions and climate controls uh, for various automotive manufacturers. You know, like many others in the industry, um, they are constantly testing new designs and innovations that will push the limits. And uh, they need to do it faster than their competition. You know, the, the Valley of Development uh, Center in Arbon Hills, Michigan, um, produces the climate control housings. Their in-house uh, additive manufacturing team produces many housing assemblies and blower motors uh, used as functional prototypes to determine which designs are most effective. Development typically takes four years um, with the uh, with the prototype assembly on a mule car for the first uh, approximately two and a half years. Uh, so the parts must uh, meet certain durability requirements. You know, uh, when Matt Hitch, uh, who's the prototype technician at uh, at Valio, uh, you know, kind of reached out to me, um, kind of let me know that they had SLS and stereo lithography in their facility. Um, you know, but the older machines were constantly running into issues, and need of expensive repairs. Um, you know, Matt reached out to the team here at Computer Aided Technologies to, to kind of print a few parts that would not fit in their current equipment. You know, he consulted with me uh, on what would be the best solution for their large HVAC uh, scrolls project, which also needed thin wall structures that were just not compatible with their current technology in house. You know, I, I introduced Matt to the to the option of the FDM technology and the power of the Stratasys F900 uh, machine. 
uh, with a diverse selection of materials ranging from engineering grade uh, thermoplastics to high performance polymers and the ability to print parts up to 36 by 24 by 36 inches. Um, you know, there's not really much that the F900 can handle. Uh, as you can see here, there's one of the HVAC housings that uh, Valio produces here in Auburn Hills. Um, so, you know, we use the Fortis 900 for this specific uh, HVAC. You know, once, once the team actually received uh, their parts at Valio, they were so impressed with their results. When the time came to decide whether to continue to, you know, repair their current equipment or invest in new equipment, um, they quickly jumped at the chance to invest in the F900. The team quickly learned um, that by bringing the equipment in-house, they could better control the priorities for their R&D team. As their demands for the new technology grew, you know, they expanded their portfolio uh, of equipment, right? And they added the, the Fortis F170 uh, with uh, TPU material, um, which is a rubber-like material. Uh, it's a 92A shore value. Um, they also added a, a Fortis 450, which is basically the, the, the smaller, the younger brother, or smaller brother, I guess, of the F900, right? And if you look at it, it has a smaller build tray size, but uh, also has the capabilities of the materials that the F900 has. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure that uh, you're wondering how you can take advantage of this service, right? Um, well, let, let me tell you a little bit more about how the team here at uh, CATI, you know, we can, how we can 3D print a few parts for you, uh, you know, if you have specific projects or provide you with files from a 3D scan. If you don't have the, the CAD data and, and you need CAD data produced, we can scan your parts and, um, you know, produce the, the CAD data for you. You know, if we have over 100 machines uh, located across the U.S. to provide you services, you know, using different technologies, as you can see here on the right. Um, you know, I, oftentimes I, I, I hear from, from customers, you know, that, that currently have technology in-house, but, you know, they don't have the material or they don't have the, the technology to actually print a certain type of material that they're looking for. Um, you know, most recently I had a customer that has uh, FDM machines in house, uh, but they didn't have a license for for Altum 1010, and they and they needed Altum 1010 because of the the high temperature resistance that this material has. Um, you know, there's there's other customers that I have uh, that needed metal parts done, but they don't have metal technology in house. Um, so we're capable of doing all of this stuff. Um, you know, it's a simply a very simple process where, where you send your CAD data to us. Uh, we take a look at the CAD data. You, you, you kind of tell us what material you're looking for. If, if you're not sure of the material that you, that you need, you can always let us know what the application is and our application engineers can suggest the best material suited for the application itself. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple process. Um, you know, once you send your, your data and tell us what you need, uh, it can take few minutes for us to, to, to get you a quote and pricing and lead time. I have a few pictures here that, you know, that shows kind of some of the parts that we have on display here at the, the Pleasant Ridge office. And you can see as well, all our machines there um, on the bottom right. Um, I have different materials uh, showcased here. We have metal parts uh, in the middle picture at the very top. You know, I have um, parts that are, are for injection molding, uh, the molds themselves that we, we can produce off of the polyjet technology for short run production, um, you know, layup tools from the Altum 9085 materials uh, that we can print on our Fortis machines. Um, and then the polyjet parts that you can actually see on the top right, um, you know, if, if you take a closer look at them, um, you know, you can really mimic um, the actual products, right? Uh, you know, I, I have customers that have consumer goods, uh, you know, for perfume bottles that we've done and and um, a cream bottles actually um, that we've done that you can, you know, we can do texture mapping, color mapping uh, on certain parts. And, and with the J750 and the J850, you can produce those parts. You can bring in those types of files and actually reproduce those parts um, with the texture mapping and, and, and the color mapping. You know, we, we also offer 3D scanning services, you know, provided by, by CATI here. You know, we can capture 3D measurements from objects as small as a cell phone or as large as an, an aircraft. When we remove the constraints by 
by conventional measurement technologies, uh, the scope of application becomes virtually limitless, right? At, at CATI, much of our scanning services is in reverse engineering and product inspection. Um, our highly skilled professionals can transform your raw scan match or CMM data into output formats that are the foundation for design, documentation, goes, visualization, analysis, and 3D prints as well. Sorry, I got stuck in that word there. <laughs> Um, you know, should you have a part that has no CAD data and is in need of reverse engineering, or if you're in need of first article inspection on difficult to measure geometry, our team will work with you to get you the files and reports uh, that you need to keep your business going. You know, again, you know, we, we try to provide the best services for all our customers. Um, we, we try to help our, our customers out when they're they're looking at machines to kind of help them decide what type of technology they need to go with, right? It all depends, it's all application-based. Um, you know, depending on the materials you might need uh, for your parts. Um, you might just need simple a ABS parts, uh, you know, which uh, FTM technology would be just just fine. Um, if you need higher performance materials, you know, si such as high temp or, or, you know, aerospace, for instance, you know, if you, if you think of um, Airbus, um, you know, currently they have over a thousand 3D printed parts on their airplane, right? Um, and that's the Altum 9085 material, specifically uh, designed for aerospace. Um, so there's a lot of different applications where, where 3D printing comes in, in hand. And, and, you know, our group here is here to help you kind of get your products out to market faster by, by getting your prototypes done much faster than traditionally, um, you know, making the tool for it and then going to mass production. Uh, you know, by, by 3D printing a part, you can catch any type of mistakes uh, before you, you get a tool made or before you go into mass production. You know, I've had customers that, that had 3D printed parts and then they caught some mistakes that they didn't see on, on, on CAD, right? Um, you know, I, I have a customer that actually was designing an engine block and was looking at the CAD data for over a year and a half and didn't see any mistakes. And then, you know, as a test run, we, we 3D printed this uh, engine block in sections and we actually, the, the customer used magnets to assemble it and use it as a teaching tool. But at the same time, he noticed a mistake in, in the in the design that he did not notice on the CAD data. Um, so producing the part actually helped him catch that mistake and he was able to go back into the CAD and, and fix what, what the mistake was. Um, so, you know, thank you again for, for coming and and listening to to what i had to say um you can leave us a review um if you you can go to cati.com uh, but you can go on their services and select 3d printing services if you if you need some some quotes done if you need any type of services just feel free to reach out to us um if you have any questions uh, i'll be around as well for for chat so just feel free to like uh, you can reach out to me thank you If...